There are several tasks that need to take place prior to listing the property for sale in the market. Um, the main one is we're going to have to have the property photographed. Uh, in order to have the property professionally photographed, we have to make sure that it shows well. So some properties do require staging and some do not. Well, how is that determined? Uh, that's usually determined by your agent walking through the property with you and seeing if staging is necessary. Um, staging is involving bringing in furniture or um, bringing or using your existing furniture and rearranging it. Um, sometimes um, you can stage a home with the furniture that's already existing by just like decluttering, moving things around. Um, when I list a property for sale, I'll usually walk through with the seller and give them general tips on things to do. For example, like clear the countertops in the kitchen, remove anything on the refrigerator as far as magnets, clear the bathroom counters, um, bring up like floor mats in the bathroom, things like that uh, in order to make it show well. Um, but in some cases, um, a, stage, a professional stager may have to be brought in in order to stage it so it's magazine ready. Um, and staging is a fee that's an additional fee. Um, there are professional stagers in the area I could recommend and you can discuss fees with them as far as how much they charge for staging. Um, I have seen staging make a huge difference um, between, a, in a, between a vacant property, especially, and one that is staged. There's also virtual staging options where we virtually stage photo, uh, furniture onto photos, um, which is effective and uh, it's cost effective and it shows well as well. Um, but we have to determine if the property needs staging and decluttering. Then we'll have the property um, professionally photographed. Um, I personally use a, several professional photographers in the area that will do high quality, high resolution pictures, especially if there's views we see uh, through the windows. So we have clear images of uh, views outside the window. Um, and also I like to do 3D tours, which are the Matterport, uh, which is a 3D scan of the entire property, which allows the buyer to like walk through the property as if they are there. Um, and we also do floor plans as well. Um, so that's important to get done. So we have to do the decluttering. We have the photography happening. Um, if you own a home, not a condominium or a home, um, and you're not sure if you have an oil tank or have ever had an oil tank on the property, it is recommended that you do an oil tank sweep. Um, oil tanks um, can become a big inspection item, especially if it's a decommissioned or abandoned oil tank under the ground. Um, and it is something that I recommend um, hiring a company to do a tank sweep to see if there is a tank that's in the ground somewhere because that may have to be addressed at some point prior to closing, whether it's removed or addressed in some fashion. Um, most attorneys would want a, an abandoned tank removed and there is involves a whole bunch of environmental testing involved with that, um, which I could discuss in another video. Um, but you probably want to have, if you have, if you own a home, have a, um, a sweep done to see if there's an oil tank on the property. And then also um, you want to determine if you want to hang a sign in your property and or a lockbox. In a condominium, some associations do not allow signs to be hung. Um, some owners do not want a sign put up on a home. They don't want their neighbors knowing their properties for sale or they only want, um, they don't want anybody in the neighborhood calling about it. They only want highly, quali highly qualified people inquiring about it. Um, but that's up to the seller if they want to hang a sign. Um, most of the time they do, but I have had cases where signs are not hung. Um, and also as far as setting up a showing schedule um, and discussing how much advance notice you're looking for showings, um, my advice is to make the property as available as possible. Uh, we will need a set of keys for the property and we will also, you will have to determine if you want a lockbox hung on the property. Lockbox looks like this. It is a, um, this is called a super lock box. The keys go in the bottom and it's opened by Bluetooth. Only a realtor with access to the app for this uh, device would be able to open the box. And there is a record of who's opening it, um, at what times it was opened. Um, so no one is going to come over your home to the property unannounced. Um, but that's something you're going to want to determine, which is the showing schedule, how much advance notice, um, like I said, my advice is to make the property as available as possible um, because it increases your chances of uh, selling, as uh, especially in the first few weeks. The more people that come in, the higher the uh, chance of selling, the more potential offers, etc. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. I can be reached at Walter at livingonthehudson.com or at 347-448-3766. Thank you.